Hey, people injured here. 2v2. Medine Cliff Mines. Blue team. Hans Moman is a warlock. A melee commander that can leap into combat. Some awesome disruption and mobility with a good amount of support options now too. Alongside Dark Riku is a Chaos Lord. Durable and destructive commander with two objects and cannot be suppressed. So very good offense and disruption. Fights mainly in melee combat. Red team. Codex is a force commander. Very good offense. Fights in melee combat. Can also tank. Disrupt and support with buffs, but I think is most happy when he's smacking Xenos and Heretics in the face. This is the Ultramarines DLC from Relic. And rounding off the red team is Floyd as a Lictor Alpha melee specialist that can infiltrate and disrupt with some awesome offense and a bit of support too. North side is Floyd and Riku. And south then leaves Codex versus Hans Moleman's Warlock. But of course they will support each other and meet in the middle. Double Dire Avengers for Hans Moleman into some Banshees and Codex is straight up pushing the south side. Hans Moleman will most likely defend in full once the Warlock has finished that cap. But there are those Banshees. Harley Quinn Elite Scheme looking as fabulous as ever for Hans Moleman stuff. I keep forgetting what these Banshees are modelled after. But as you can see, they're not Howling Banshees with the Harlequin Elite scheme. Spore Mines out for Floyd with the double Termagants backing them up. And there are the Hormagons. They're going to eat the kill the weak at some point. There it is. Was used straight after a special attack, which was a bit unfortunate for Riku. They didn't get a full heal. And whoa. TSM in huge amounts of trouble. There's that Flesh Hook, which was nerfed in 2.4. And now starts off doing less damage, but also scales with melee damage metal fires as the Elixir Alpha levels up. So once he's fully leveled, it probably does more damage than it did. But that's a fully leveled Elixir Alpha. Riku replacing his CSM, a rough start over there. Now needs to focus on defending his generators. There are no generators, there's the power mode. And Floyd is not going after it right now, he's capping up the mid. Maybe if there were generators there, he would have gone after it. 475, 500. The Force Commander gets away. And there's a good little bit of pressure there. Prevented the VP from being capped. And now we see some Rangers for Hans Moleman. Are oh, we going to see double Rangers with Pathfinder gear? It's a big investment after you already have three squads that you most likely want to upgrade with some stuff. There's the Lictor Alpha being in use again. Going to need to get that aspiring champion up when he can of course to help him spot this guy and be careful with those csm 437 500 is a double cap for the red team floyd with a warrior brood on the way rangers on the field now for hands can take pot shots at those scouts and tactical marines and he's going straight for pathfinder gear i'm not sure if one ranger is enough to suppress with Pathfinder gear. I think it is, but it takes, I think, three shots or so since Courage regenerates quite quickly. And of course, he'll have the ranged fire of the Dire Avengers waiting in. Destructor from the Warlock holding up this tactical marine squad, and now he's going into melee. There's that leap knocking over all three models. Of course, it does. Dire Avengers. Dropping models to the force one. He didn't get another one there. I thought he was going to get another. Codex coming straight back down and has assault marines in tow. Rangers don't want to get jumped by those guys, but Rangers are mid anyway. Dark Ricky recovering well. Now has Combi Flamer and Havocs on the field. Just goes to show losing your first purchase squad, even if it's marines, not the end of the game. Just stay calm. Repurchase them, maybe ask our ally to get your gems and recover. This is a bad situation though, he's caught, flanked by two units, Assault Marines and Cormagaunts, not to mention two commanders, but that was a nice kinetic pulse from the Rangers. Or is it kinetic shot? It's one of those. 399, 496, as you can see there, I think... Pathfinder gear increases their vision range or something? Maybe not. It doesn't say it there. Maybe I'm making it up. 
Howling Banshees without an aspect, incidentally, prowling around that south side. It's the Warlock who's on capping duty, and the Chaos Lord is running away. Look how much XP he has already, no doubt, thanks in part to the awesome Combi Flamer doing over 30 DPS piercing with really good accuracy on the move. I think it's 100%, but it might be slow, slightly lower than that. It's really good anyway. And of course, you get Immolate, which is not bad. Good push by Red, though. Riku needs to be careful with these Havocs to be tied up by a Power Sword Force Commander. Also has Alacrity. Classic Codex build, I think. Always used to see him running with the Power Sword and Armor of Alacrity. Not a build you see very often. You don't see Alacrity very often in general. Not in team games and 2v2s anyway. Noise Marines on the way for Riku. Warrior Brood with the Barb Strangler for Floyd. And you see that yellow hexagon. That is a bug. They shouldn't have that indicator until they get the adrenal glands. I'm not sure if it's just showing the visuals or they are actually getting the buff from the synapse feedback. But either way, it's a bug and it should be fixed in the next update. Nice and Marines now on the field for Riku. Some good synergy with the Chaos Lord since you have that corn worship and can really pump up their mobility and there they are wrecking termigants and wow a full gen wipe you see if he didn't lose those csm would have had the noise marines up a fair bit earlier i think they would have been doing a whole bunch of damage with them to those former gaunts and they will really help shut down those warrior brood as well hands my man pushing well on the south not sure what these dire avengers are up to trying to get in position for a grenade there's one really nicely thrown takes out an assault marine model that's a really good throw does he throw another he does can he finish them off he does finish them off superb play from hans moleman was under pressure kept his double dire events in play looking for the opportunity to throw the grenade it was beautifully done 299 to 496 special attack from the lictor alpha in amongst noise marines now he's going for the power bash that power bash even looks like he got one of the generators flesh hook on the lead havoc model getting that heavy bolter out of play momentarily but Riku is keeping up the pressure crippling poison very very annoying for a chaos lord but he does have that combi flamer to keep pumping out some piercing damage and there's cacophony which is great for the chaos lord because he's not not knocked over by it, of course since that's weapon knockback which doesn't concern a chaos lord Really good pressure from Riku covering this bash with Havocs and he's going to get both of those gens I think. Maybe. Gets two certainly and he has heretics there to help him escape with corn worship. That spore mine has been pulled in by the Lictor Alpha as Riku not noticed. That was a really big mistake pushing those heretics in there I think. Are they going to get wiped by these spore mines? No they're not. He didn't actually. Oh he did lose a model of the heretics down to seven. That could have been really nasty if those spore mines came in a fraction earlier and caught those heretics. More grenades from hands. Here comes this force commander. Look how quick he is with sprint active. Temporarily increases speed by two and he gets a passive 0.5 speed increase. Looks like these are some dead our Avengers maybe. Another jump they're going to need. They don't need another jump. Termigant's coming in and Codex replaced his ASM as you can see there. We might see Ethereal Slash then from the Warlock, which can do some very, very nasty things to melee units. It's tier 2 and it's not cheap. I think it does like 60 DPS power melee as well. Something like that, I think slightly less. 287, 464. Lick to Alpha Steel with no war gear, in, war gear on this guy. Harmony Inferno already queued up from Riku, wants that thing out as quickly as possible. Really helps you set up engagements well as chaos just throw that out then start shooting or maybe running your heretics or jump in something zone throat is on the field for riku you can see him running lick to alpha with double zone throats a few times so you might see another one there's the immolate he's not using it to kill stuff there he's make he's using it so this stuff keeps moving and is thus not shooting at his stuff and now he can bring in a noise rings and do this and he's continuing to push, trying to get a model off that warrior brood. Nice kill to weak. Look at the pressure this Chaos Lord has given. 
pegging back four units there with the help of some noise marines briefly but those guys are in trouble now Victor Alpha is eventually suppressed by Havertz and now here is Hans Moman to help out down goes the pillory tower Warlock is level two with no war gear heretics completing the cap on the mid is it worth it getting grenade launchers on these guys to disrupt this little block here just for a bit more disruption Cormagants are down after all. Maybe he wants that Doom Blast around for a quick and easy suppression on the Lictor Alpha. Razor back on the field now for Codex. Allows him to sustain himself in the south for those pushes a little bit more often. I'm sure he'd love to get a Power Bash here. Has a Flamer in play. Razorback helps you do that kind of thing and it's coming down here. Howling Banshees with the aspect of strength could see them infiltrated by the hollow fields no. now he sees a Razorback how does he respond he's already got warp spiders up so with the Hayride grenade and that executioner might not need anything else just retreats out there I think it's worth getting double warp spiders up he doesn't have the resources to do so right now and he's gonna get completely bow patched I think because that's quite a lot of stuff there bashing yeah I think he's gonna lose it all he might better save one of those gens Chaos Lord capping mid under some corn worship and mark of corn CSM on the field for Dark Riku here's a tyrant guard for Floyd Bloodlet is also up for Dark Riku that is to put instant pressure on the warrior brood and the zone throat Floyd is now gonna have that tyrant guard to help counter initiate and that thing can be a complete beast double cap for red here Assault Marines in a little bit of trouble. Get away with a single model, I think. Oh, we see the Heart of Darkness with Enhance. I think that was Enhance on those Banshees that seems to be kind of made for synergy with Banshees and Wraith Guard. Increasing speed and damage. Down goes the Force Commander. And a nice flank from Dark Riku. The Razorback lives, maybe. I don't think they're going to be able to chase it down. They don't have the aspiring champions melter pistol in a way so it should be fine should be fine he says they're chasing it down getting us rear armor hits and he's going for eternal war right now wow doing way more damage than i thought they would codex gets out which is a big mistake and loses the razorback gets a grenade off perseverance from riku paying off there i thought that was that razorback was safe all day long 135446. So Codex now down to two units. Good recovery from Blue Team. They've got a lot of VPs to make up, but they're looking reasonably strong here. Hands, does he get more tier two? Whoa. What the heck? Toxic Cysts and Scything Talons are no joke. You get the air of effect damage from the Scythe, which isn't a huge amount, but it is damage. And you can. Combine that with Toxic Cyst, which is the Toxic Burst, which is the name of the ability. 10 piercing DPS. Not sure how long it lasts for. Maybe it's just a toggle type thing. Not sure. Increases the Lictus health regeneration by 10 per second. Really? That's pretty nuts. 135423. Is that right? Seems like a lot of health regen. It is a small health increase, though, only 100. Interesting war gear. Ranger's gonna get a shot, but don't get a model. Dreadnought on the way for Codex. Gonna help him deal with the Banshees, but needs to be on his game to keep the Warp Spiders off it. He might just go for the Assault Cannon and bring it mid with Floyd stuff and help hold this kind of area. Floyd is decapping here. Not seen Let the Galaxy Burn use it, I don't think. Am I gonna see it right here? There it is. Bloodlet is coming in. Are they going to go after the Warriors or the Zone Throat? Most likely the Zone Throat because it goes down so quickly as you see there. You can't suppress Bloodletters. They are demons. They do not care about your suppression. You can cripple them though, apparently. Lictorafa gets away. Zone Throat gets away. Tarrant Guard coming into play, but those are now warp shifted Bloodletters able to just back away from the fight without taking damage. Where's the Worship Support? Where are the heretics? They're coming out of base. I'm sure he would have loved worship support for that push. But here it is now. Granting 
extremely high health regen to demons such as these bloodletters, not to mention the speed buff from Corn Worship in the first place. Tier 3 for Floyd. Dark Priku has some Plague Marines on the field. Help shoot down that Dreadnought and his hands more man goes for Fire Dragons. These guys getting some changes in 2.4 they're now faster out the gate as you can see there. And their ability, I can't remember the name of it, but it gives them extra uh, reduced weapon cooldown and 100% fire on the move so it allows them to chase really well. Is that a dead? No, it's really, no, they get away. Force Quan is level 3. Still power sword and lack It is an alt uh, assault cannon, sorry, on the Space Marine Dreadnought. Havoc's on the way for Riku. It's a solid choice to help him hold mid. Does he get the auto cannon up? He might do. He might be going straight for a last cannon to quite try and quickly deal with this Dreadnought. Where are the Fire Dragons? Warp Spider's doing their thing. Here are the Fire Dragons. Infiltrated by the Hollow Fields. Warp Spider's flanking inwards but needs to be really careful getting away there. Look at the damage from these Fire Dragons on that Tyrant Guard doing extra damage to Super Heavy Infantry with those, I think they're Fusion Guns, which are basically rapid firing Melter Guns in terms of Dawn of War 2. 135. 368 blood letters trying to keep that dreadnought tied up but it's staying on moving that is a nice that the galaxy burn and the chaos is going after the dreadnought just to keep it from firing that assault cannon i think now he's in retreat assault cannon survives zone throat still in play and tyrant guard i think do an important job for the red team right now forcing off the plague marines he has kept the heavy bolter on the havocs for now in a way. Maybe it is worth getting a Laz Cannon with this Tyrant Guard around. That's a Haywire. Tyrant Guard now in Shield Wall. Switches it to Vehicle Armor and gives it some health regen but it can't move or attack or do anything. Eldar forced off. Good push and hold from the red team. Any pheromones from the Lictor Alpha? No. Would be very energy intensive if he did get them I suppose. That was the scythe, I think. Wow, it's painful, these things. The brief. 81.25 power melee DPS. Nice on challenge. capping duty. It's an important decap as well. So it keeps them. Maybe gets them the, dub, the two to one here. What's this? Our Avengers being very brave. Going into melee combat with tactical moves. These guys are quite low, though. And here come flanking Howling Banshees. What can they do without their legendary chasing? Would have done in incredibly well, I think, if it wasn't for that special attack from the Force Commander. Would have, I think, yeah, easily would have finished them off if that special attack didn't go and disrupt them. Force Commander needs to be careful. Battlecry is worn off. Now he's trying to straight up fight Banshees and runs away. Teleporter is up, but there's a nice grenade again from Hans Moorman. Seen a very, some very good grenades from him in this game. Rico all the way at the Tyranid base there and blue team retake the mid look at the map all of a sudden looking very very blue indeed Swarm Lord on the way for Floyd just use it as a big battering ram that can reinforce all of this whoa zone throat gets caught by infiltrated Eldar and that was so quick that was crazy Fire Dragon's packing a punch for sure. 132, 296. So Zone Throat is down. And I think he lost some Termigants there as well. Or did he lose them already? Swarm Lord is in play. Super unit for Tyranids. 2,000 hit points of vehicle armor walking around and hitting you in the face with count them four bone swords. Has the awesome blade flurry and can also leech the health of nearby enemies and return it to the Swarm Lord, so it has some decent survivability as long as you don't overextend this guy. And of course has that speed and reinforcement synapse which is awesome, even affecting that Tyrant Guard as you can see. 132, 236 missile goes in on the Swarm Lord from Plague Marines, yep. Is he overextended this guy? I think he is, but he just ran into a LAS cannon. 
There's the Leech Essence trying to preserve the Swarm when he does get away, I think. 129, 269. Dreadnought is still around for Codex. And he's pushing the south. Dreadnought is deep in enemy territory here. And he knows there's a haywire floating around and fire dragons are going to come in and flank. Is this a dead Dreadnought? We will see this. Ban Banshees aren't going after it. There you are. Going after tactical marines. Must have used Enhanced already. And also has Cloak of Shadows to support. Really good support now for the Warlock with that Enhanced. 114, 269. Down goes a Dreadnought. That is drop pods with tactical marines inside I guess to try and recover yet yeah. it's going tier 3 codex and has lots of red so we might see some terminators up soonish Chaos Dreadnought with the mark of Zinch for Riku there's some corn worship which does affect your vehicles all of the worships now affect vehicles which is nice Floyd going back mid has his natural has a tier 3 licked up on the field alongside his licked alpha who now has Menacing Visage. So can force off most likely the Markov Corner CSM, I would think, once they get close. Or he could just run up to the Havocs and use it. Getting them off the field quickly. There's the jumping in Tier 3 Lictor. But there are Corner CSM to counter initiate. And it might go down in retreat. Wow. So much damage so quickly from Eldar. 114238. There's a corn shrine which is buffing the damage of Riku's stuff and spitting out blood letters every once in a while. I'm not sure how often it occurs, but it will, will occur more often if he's worshipping it. There they go. Let's see if we can count this. It's about four seconds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm actually counting now. Ten. Fifteen seconds maybe. They can't watch it. People are fighting. Yeah, I think it's around 15 seconds. You just saw them come out there. 114217. Oh, that, that was just going down, not coming out. So it's, yeah, maybe 20 seconds or 30. Who cares? Tactical Marines in retreat. Did they lose a model? Unbelievable. Oh, they did. I thought they got away four models and the enemy is all their health, but I've just seen two squads there. 114202. He's got some stuff covering the North VP there, Floyd. Current guard is still in play. But can go down so quickly. There's the haywire, and here come fire dragons. Banshee's also chasing with that big mound of power melee damage and some heavy melee for good measure. 114189. This is a dead tyrant guard. Even if it goes into shield wall, it's gonna go down there with the Melter damage and heavy melee damage. Blue team surely have this game. They have some VPs to make up. Can still go terribly wrong. Oh, Dire Avengers going down. And Codex doing the right thing, keeping the pressure up on the south side. Here come some very quick Elder stuff. The Warlock's almost level 6. Warrior Brood in retreat. Sticking with that. Barb Strangler. Warlock in amongst the Space Marine stuff and it's a full retreat and he did not get the decap. Fire Prism now on the field for Hans Moleman. Red team kind of just hanging on now. Chaos Lord uses kill the weak but has to get out of there. What do you get now? I'm sure Floyd would love a Carnifex, but is that the right choice? Blue team have so much AV. Plague Marines, Marcos Inch Dreadnought, Marcos Inch Havocs, Fire Dragons, Fire Prism, Haywire Grenade is going for the Neuro Throat, which I think is the right choice. Need to be freaking careful with it, of course. Blood Letters jumping around really quick and sometimes invisible Eldar. Rangers decapping there. Codex is going to continue to push the south I imagine. Try and split 
this very dangerous force up. Autark on the field. Let's have a look at her with the Harlequin scheme. Looking pretty awesome. Did she get changes in 2.4? I think she did. I can't remember though. She's providing a passive damage resistance buff to those Banshees now when she's close enough. Down go to Spore Mines. Neuro Throat getting a little bit too close to those Banshees using Absorb Life. Well, there's a Swarm Lord to lead the line. Going straight after those Howling Banshees, but he's supporting his push here with a Fire Prism. Neuro Throat doesn't seem to be using its other abilities. Hormagant's White. I think they were, yeah, granted by the Without Number Global, which gives them some termagants as well, but it looks like they both went down. Desperately trying to get this VP back is Floyd. Or top chasing. She has her spear, which is a power melee weapon, not a heavy melee weapon like the Banshee spear. Just a little bit more confusion for you in Dawn of War 2. One on four, 70s, things like that, that make Dawn of War 2 pretty tough for new players to learn. Those little subtle differences in things that you would instinctively think are the same. Two executioner spears doing different things. Predator tank on the field for Codex. Neuro throat, I think, hitting the field a little bit too late to have a big impact. Chaos Lord going after it. Is he going to finish this thing off? Doesn't quite have the damage output, I don't think. Does he have no no accessory on this guy? Dark Pricky recovering from that early CSM loss to what it looks like seeing out a victory here. Marco Zinch Dread trying to finish off the Predator before it most likely goes down here. But it looks like the Predator will live. Yeah. And down goes that Dreadnought. Well, he's not too concerned about that. 114 32. Walks by teleporting in and doing huge amounts of piercing damage to these scouts and they're not going to get away and they don't they did get the decap at least one on four 28 there's a corn nuke the standard imperial abyss if you have it that teleporter pack has it done a lot for him I'm not sure it has every time he's teleported around i think the benches have been there waiting tier three looked for floyd Double tax now for Codex is all he has. Get some more scouts up. Has so much red. Can a big, oops, can a big orbital turn the tide? It's going to have to be a hell of a nuke to do that. A hell of a nuke. Neurothrope is left in the north to guard the VP. Bit low on energy. This guy has a unique energy mechanic in that he does not regenerate it at all. He needs to use abilities to get his energy back. A cool little mechanic, I think. Bloodlet is coming out to try and. Blastmaster getting a good shot, but there's the orbital. What's he gonna do? Picks up some havocs, and they get the decap. Or how long for? Picks up a bunch of stuff, in fact. And there's Codex to push alongside it. Doesn't want to run into his own beam. There we go. Bloodlet is just phasing out for Rico, and these guys are level three. One one four five. There's a single cap though for Blue. Because they've decapped the north. Swarmlord under pressure is going to go down, I think. No, lives. Just about lives with 19 hit points at the end of the game. Blue team taking it. I think it was theirs for quite a while. But red team hung in there and did not concede. Let's look at the heroes end of the game. Level 6 Warlock doing all sorts of nasty things with Cloak of Shadows and Heart of Darkness in Hearts. Chaos Lord level 6 was able to put so much pressure on that Tyranid stuff early on. Force Commander with Power Sword, Alacrity, and the Teleporter Pack. And we had the Lictor Alpha at level 5, Menacing Visage, Toxic Cysts, and Scything Talons. And he was a threat in this game. Saw him wipe some stuff and do some chunks of damage with those Scything Talons. But there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.